Hello everybody, welcome to Dev Tips. My name is Travis Nielsen and if you're not familiar, this is a channel where we do website design and development and we are excited today to have a fantastic developer on the channel. I've been talking to Will uh, for a little bit now. He's a, he's a really great human. Uh, say hello, Will. Hey, how's it going everybody? Will's channel is called Learn Code Academy. Uh, that's a Learn YouTube Code channel. Academy, you can, yep. Uh, yes, that's a YouTube channel and you can click on uh, this space area right here. I'll probably put a logo on it and you can go uh, check out his channel right now. He also has a website called learncode.academy, not .com, .academy, where he puts up uh, his things. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's in progress now, so there's nothing there yet, but it's coming soon, very soon. Great. So this is part one of a, of a two-part video series where Will and I talk. Uh, today, we're t uh, in this video, I'm mostly talking to Will and asking him questions, and he's feeding us very interesting information. And in the next video, uh, which you can find on his channel, will be more of uh, Will asking me to give uh, advice for new, new creators and people looking to break into the, the uh, design and development industry. So take a look at that. Again, you can get those videos right here and they're also going to be in the description uh, the whole time the video is on. And let's get started. So everybody that watches my channel will know that it's, it's a mix between, you know, we definitely talk about web development and tutorials and, and specifically how to create websites, but we also talk about the human side of it, you know. And we keep in mind that when we're when we're building these things, we are building them for humans, and um, it's going to be, you know, these 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 creations, these products, these interfaces that people are touching that are connecting them to the world at large. So in the end, it's just human to human, and we're aided by these machines. And so I want to talk today about Will the human. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about, you know, why did you start? So we'll start with YouTube and then we'll go backwards. So why did you start doing a, a YouTube channel? Uh, good question. Um, I, I started doing the YouTube, like the very, I'll just say the very first videos I did is, uh, I've kind of in the last couple years, I'm always telling friends and people I know that I, how great the web dev industry is because I think it's just a killer industry to be in. Yeah. And especially yeah. if you like computers, it's so much fun. And it's a great job, uh, stable job, so much opportunity. And so I'm always telling people this stuff. And their reaction to any techie kind of person or person like computers is, well, what do I do to get in it? Uh, I'm working at Starbucks. Like, what do I do to go there? I think that's, I agree with you. And so I found a lot of people saying, hey, can I buy you coffee? You can tell me how to get rolling. Or can, can I come and sit down and you can show me how to start an HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And so it kind of got to be more than I could actually do to do and so uh, I found myself saying leaving those times saying man I wish I would have recorded that so I could just show it to the next 10 people that asked mm -hmm. um, so I said I just kind of said to myself well you know hey if if you have a down Saturday or, or you know you have spare time let's just start putting these on YouTube for the world to see why would I just show my friends when tons of people can benefit from it um, and it took off, and I was like, okay, wow, people really want to know this. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's definitely a need for it, especially for someone, you know, uh, someone who has the ability to explain themselves and explain what they're doing well. I think that's one of my, the things that I struggle with on my channel is to talk while I'm doing stuff. It's actually really hard. But... It is tough. You'll see my brain just kind of <laughs> freeze sometimes, just code stops and my mouth stops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's embarrassing how many times I misspell, like, the simple things that I do every day. <laughs> um, so, but okay. So, in our in our industry, it's quite common for people to make the jump from writing code to writing a blog or writing a book or even like podcasting. Why did you choose video, and then why did you choose YouTube instead of like another host Vimeo or another hosting platform? Yeah, um, I mean, really, I, I picked. A YouTube because I just figured it's it's kind of like the platform right now. It's going to, people are going to search that. And I also know that if people are going to search Google um, and you happen to be the number one video spot, they'll see you there. So I just, I just was like, you know, I think this is, if I'm going to do this to help people, that's the place to put it out. Yeah. Um, an SEO really based decision. Any other motive than just let's get it to people. I mean, every once in a while an ad will play and I'll get, get some change here and there. And that's kind of growing as it's getting more popular. But the goal was just, Let's help people for free. 
that's a, that's an admirable goal. Um, so so let's jump backwards then. Like, where did you come from? Who are you? Uh, did you did you grow up being interested in tech? And what's that story like? Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I definitely always loved computers. I mean, my parents gave me—I was homeschooled. Mm -hmm. My parents just gave me free reign over the computer, and there's there's definitely several times as like a twelve year old, I accidentally erased every file on the root level of the hard drive, <laughs> and then this is back when you're like a DOS prompt thing, and so I was like, oh my gosh, how can I get all the files back on there before I shut down the computer and don't know what to do? <laughs> like, right. Definitely had some like scary moments spending the next eight hours trying to make sure my computer had all the files it had. Now I don't even. That would just tank a computer these days, but so yeah, just kind of always enjoyed it, and then got into web dev stuff. Probably, I was sixteen or eighteen. Like HTML was a baby. Like blink tags, right? I mean, scrolling marquees. MySpace wasn't even there yet. So like, I kind of dabbled for a long time. Did you make? And then have probably you, got my. Have you ever made a table-based website? Oh yes, oh yes, tables were. We're the thing, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It was cool. I was. It was cool to be good at tables. It was, yes, and the ugly ones with the gray shadows. Yeah, yeah. If you could figure out how to like do this, you know, more intricate layout using like several different tables nested within each other, like, you, you. <laughs> I wasn't that good. Oh, <laughs> that was like a I could never figure out of, the like, scrolling your... marquee tag either on how to get it to work. <laughs> the marquee tag. Awesome. <laughs> Bringing yeah. back so many memories. So you start like when you're 16 or so? I mean, just, just for fun. I mean, just doing nothing. I, I guess I kind of started helping people for free. What like were those? helped my church for free. I mean, a okay. church okay. website in 99. I mean, just kind of the bottom of the barrel as far as anything could be. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And then started kind of just slowly doing stuff for people on the side for 100 or 200 bucks. Uh -huh. I called it Studio 31 Design and then got my first job at WebMD.com, which is a huge, just giant company. Um, I don't know how I got it. wasn't anywhere near good enough to get in there. There's like 50 front-end developers there, and somehow I got a job there. And, and that just kind of made things take off, got my butt kicked for a year and a half. <laughs> when, when was that? When Welcome was that? to the industry. Talking? Five years ago. Okay. Five, probably five years ago. So yeah, I probably stayed this like amateur level for eight years, uh, which is really easy to do. Actually, it's really easy for people to stay just because you don't know. There's this whole other world of of pro level building applications. There's like there's web content, and then there's there's web applications, and it's really easy to stay in that web content world forever. And I don't think if I ever somehow got that job at WebMD that I think I probably would have stayed just kind of content land forever and not really made that shift. Even if even if you stay front end, there's there's like and there's levels and levels and levels to that. So I'm not like the man. Yeah. Um, I'm still just feeling like a newbie. In, I think you always do in web dev though. I think that's the only way because I mean things yeah. move so fast, but also you have to like remain I don't know humble or something. <laughs> Because yeah, I mean, I, yeah, it's like I've been doing multi-page, single-page app JavaScript stuff for the last five years, and my CSS CSS has changed a lot in four years. So, yeah. so I see these slick, cool things that I'm like that just weren't around two years ago, and I haven't had to do those. And so, yeah, you never have it figured out, and if you do, get ready to to lose your job <laughs> within five years. <laughs> that reminds me of like there's this uh, story. I I think it was between uh, Biggie Smalls and Jay Z. And when Jay Z was a young rapper, Biggie tells him to uh, to always be an intern or hustle like you're still an intern for you know for even when oh, you get big. And that's it. Yeah, yeah. Just have that. Hustle. So I, I'm really, really interested in those kind of like those gray years. You know, like like you're not a newbie and you're not you you're not hitting the the, the hockey stick on the graph yet, you know, like there's that, there's that struggle or that thrash that you need to kind of go through. And I think that, you know, mm -hmm. we, you, you meet so many people now, and, and this is just happening more and more that now that we're doing channels and I'm sure it's the same for you, but we meet so many people that want to know how to just jump right over that step, you know? Mm -hmm. And, yeah. and the hard thing 
I mean, what, what, how, how would you answer that? Somebody who says like, okay, what do I do next? Or, you know, like how do I, I I've learned a little bit of HTML and a little bit of CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. How do I be a pro? Yeah, totally. I mean, the number one thing is, is if, if you can find a job that you can barely get intern or get around people, if you can't get a job that puts you around people that can just teach you the tools and the toolkits and the way that happens and the way that works, then, then I mean, the number one step is you gotta, you got to know what you don't know. And that's, I think, the biggest thing is, is most people just don't know what they don't know. Um, I know that's kind of like a tongue twister, but uh, just build tools and, and why, like so, so much of front end now, it used to just be HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and now you're doing builds on the front end and you're building out and compressing JavaScript files and minifying them and linting them and, and doing source co control and you're, you're, you have strategies on how you're going to deploy resources. And this is all just front end stuff. Like, this this used to be what the true engineers did, and now it's kind of it's kind of reaching the whole spectrum. Mm -hmm. And getting just getting around people and asking them, how does your workflow go? Um, how do you do stuff on this level? And so your advice uh, would be to surround yourself with people that are already there, so you can level up. Is that? Am I yeah, you correctly? If I, I, I never want to not know somebody who can kick my butt. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just like that's just asking to stalemate in the next three years or at least slow track yourself. Yeah, that's a really good point. So how do you yourself keep up to date? I try to, I try to follow guys on Twitter. Um, Adi Osmani is, I mean, I tend to live a little more JavaScript world right mm -hmm. now. Um, as far as the stuff that I'm emphasizing with work day in day out tends to be JavaScript and Node.js. Right. Uh, and so I try to follow guys that are just the best in the industry on that. And they're usually tweeting about stuff I don't understand. And so I can either kind of avoid that because it feels painful or I can just dive into <laughs> it and force myself to barely, like, I remember when I was starting, Adi Asmani has this book an ebook called JavaScript Design Patterns. Uh -huh. um, when I was just starting JavaScript, um, I read this thing and it was just like a, a foreign language to me. And I could kind of do jQuery stuff, but this was different. Yeah. And so yeah. I forced myself to like hand code his examples, not just read them and copy paste, but actually type them out so yep. it would stick. And um, and I didn't get it. And so I forced myself to do it again the next month. I'm going to do it again. The whole book. And then it was started a, clicking. Okay, so now you're rolling with your channel and you're doing uh, coding for a living. Did you, I mean, was this your first career or did you have a whole other career first? Did you wash cars for a living? What, how did you make the transition? Like, I, I want to know, like, that that initial struggle is what I'm really interested in. Gotcha. I mean, well, my dad, my dad always made sure, he said, you're never going to get a job for someone else to work for yourself. So I did lawns starting at 13. <laughs> okay, it's so an entrepreneur from the beginning. Huh? Entrepreneur from the beginning, yeah? Yeah, I guess. I mean, while well, your friends are working at Baskin Robbins for four and a quarter an hour, you're making 20 an hour. I guess it kind of spoils you like, <laughs> way back then, but I hated it, though. <laughs> um, so let's see. Okay, so actual first real job. Mm. I think so around 18, 19, I had volunteered helping my church with their website for free for a couple of years and then there's some guy who just kind of, he sold music and had CDs. Not some guy, I mean, he's a guy that did that. And uh, he said, hey, will you help me, you know, build my online storefront and all that stuff. I'll give you a 10 an hour. It's like, hey, this is great. It's more than I'll get anywhere else. And so yeah. I took it. So I guess it's, it's technically, I was doing really more graphic design for him than anything else. Because um, I kind of came from a design background. So yeah, I, I, I kind of had done design. Now, not professional, not good, just bad design. <laughs> right, right. Some dude with Photoshop on his computer. Yes. <laughs> and that somehow is what I ended up doing for him most of the time. Um, and kind of stayed in that design world for about seven, eight years. Would put out informational, basic WordPress sites where I'd do my best to hack a template. <laughs> um, but pretty much slicing PSDs was as far as I went. And... Um, the transition, 
I think the transition really happened when I kind of, a friend asked once, I was working design for him and he said, I, I mentioned that I kind of do websites. He goes, oh, do you do, do, you do CSS layouts? And it just kind of clicked. No, I don't, but I've heard that term before, and I really should. Right. And so that was the point I decided I'm going to stop slicing stuff up, having Photoshop or Dreamweaver or whatever export my layouts for me, which is probably divs or tables. I don't even know what it did. Probably terrible code. It, yeah. Well, if you're going to do like the slices and stuff, it's going to give you tables. Yeah. So yeah. it was. It was. I decided I'm going to. I'm going to force myself to learn this. Kind of put together my first pieces of bricks, CSS layout, and it kind of began. So no, no round that about was right around when the time that? that that lots of resumes are saying must be able to hand code HTML CSS. Yeah, because a lot of guys didn't do that, so I think that's how I got that first job doing it. So this is like around two thousand or two thousand two. Yeah, so for me it was later. Oh, <laughs> it was definitely later. So it it must have been past that. Is probably 2008. Oh, wow, okay. And we're talking like six years ago. It was not that long ago. I mean, I was really kind of just graphic design land for a long time and then made a shift and was like, this is what development feels like? I'm going all out. This is fun. <laughs> so you don't, you don't really work with design at all now? You most It's all development? Yeah, I really don't. I mean, at first I missed it because you really do. I mean, design, design is fun and coding doesn't seem fun at first. Mm -hmm. But it's like, this, uh, it's like this endless thing that you can never get to the bottom of the barrel of. And it, it's really addicting in a lot of cool ways. And it gets very, very creative. Yes, yes. I, I find it really satisfying, probably even more than design. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I, I think that it's... Because with design, you you finish a piece, and then there's always opinions, right? It's uh, there's feedback, and there's iteration, and there's like which is all good and healthy. But with with code, you just kind of like you find out a solution, and it's good. That's the solution, and it'll stay there until you circle back to it in three months or whatever your iteration cycle is, you know. And then you revisit it, and you go, "Why did I write it that way? I'll do I'll just do like it. design, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it better this time, but but like it's it's not like people argue with it, and and if they do, it's it's not really. I mean, it's more of a learning experience. Like, oh, there is a better way, definitively. And I guess that that gets down to the bottom of it is that there is a right answer. Yes. Whereas design, someone who's bad at design will ask for an abundance of drop shadows and like bevels and just like they will they will think that that's cool when that is terrible. <laughs> and, and they're not going to argue with your code when it just works day in and day out. Yes, that that's yeah. And and you know your your boss or your CEO is going to look at your designs and he's going to say I don't like this or I do like this. He's never going to look at your code and say you know you really should close the you know print on the end right there. <laughs> that's right. Yes. A so. good, good analogy. That is exactly how it is. <laughs> it's, it's it's the the reward isn't is really it's totally all there in a lot of cool unique ways. All right, thank you so much, Will, for being on the show. Everybody here appreciates it. If they don't say so, I'm saying it for them. And uh, then, again, everybody remember that you can take a look at Will's channel, Learn Code Academy, and his website at learncode.academy. Now, it's not .com, that's .academy. And uh, Will is, is doing some really, really great tutorials and instructional videos there. And, uh, Will, we're so, so grateful that you, you're on the show today. Super huge honor to be here. Thanks for having me. All right. Take care, everybody.